how to connect voice flow with WhatsApp. That's what we're going to be covering in today's video. And I'm going to provide you with all the templates you need so that you can simply copy and paste this and deploy your own voice flow build inside of WhatsApp. You can find all the templates down below in the description in our free resource hub. Just sign up and you can download and access all these templates. I'm going to walk you through this step by step. And at the end, you'll have everything ready to go. All right, so now we're inside of my desktop and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. I've made a simple Google Docs outlining exactly how we're gonna be connecting voice flow with WhatsApp. So the first step is gonna to be to sign up to ManyChat and ManyChat is gonna be the front end tool which we're gonna to use to send messages to the user in WhatsApp. This also comes with a lot of additional benefits such as follow-up sequences. You can contact them within 24 hours with automated messages. You can send videos, buttons, cards, etc. So this is the tool which we're going to use. We use ManyChat for our Instagram integration as well. So if you're interested in that, check out that video too. Um, you're going to need the pro subscription, which is $15 a month. In my opinion, very, very affordable. You can use one single subscription to do both Instagram, WhatsApp, etc. If it's all the same business, um, you're going to find the link to that in the description as well to sign up to ManyChat. Now, what we're going to need to do next is connect WhatsApp to ManyChat and you can either add your own number or ManyChat actually offers numbers for less than a dollar. I think USA numbers cost 66 cents. So let's jump right into that. Now, when you're inside of ManyChat, all you need to do is go into the settings, click on WhatsApp and here you're going to connect WhatsApp. What you're going to do is click on connect, get new number to connect, or you can connect your own number. We're going to do a new number. And down here, you can see the options. You can select the United States number for only 66 cents a month. This is going to give you a completely fresh number. Once you click on get number, you're going to get charged for that. What you're going to do after is you're simply going to take that number, follow the steps inside of ManyChat. You're going to click connect. It's going to open up Facebook. You're going to enter all your business details, enter the number. ManyChat is going to display the code, the verification code. You're going to enter that and you're all done. Then ManyChat is officially connected with WhatsApp. Once you have ManyChat connected with WhatsApp, this is what it should look like. You're going to have your display name, your profile picture, and all of these other details on your specific WhatsApp account. What you're going to have to do is verify the WhatsApp business account, um, and you can simply follow the steps to set that up. Now, jumping back into the list, the next step is going to be to import the many chat template from our resource hub. As I said, it's completely free sign up down below. It's free for now. Once we hit a thousand members, we are going to make it a paid resource hub, but for now it's free. You're going to be able to clone the many chat template and import that into your many chat account. Now, this is what the many chat flow is going to look like. Whenever a user sends a message on WhatsApp, we're going to follow all of these steps. Now, important for you to note, but all of this is already explained in the resource hub as well. You're going to have to go into all of these requests and enter your API keys. So every single external request that we have here, you're going to have to go in and enter your API key. For this specific one, you're going to need to make a Google app script, but we have all of that also explained in the resource hub for you to easily set up. You're going to have to enter your own URL into here, and then that's going to be it. And you're going to be able to send messages from VoiceFlow to WhatsApp using this integration. Now, the next step is to build a suitable voice flow flow. Now, I'm going to walk you through this in just a second. The last point in here is at the voice flow API key in ManyChat. I'm going to show you where to find that API key. It's the dialog API, and you're going to add it in exactly where I just told you in all of these where it says your API key here. Now, let's jump into voice flow and take a look. So, we have a fresh voice flow build here with the initial voice flow template. What's important to note is when you create a new assistant inside of voice flow, select web chat as your interface. Do not select WhatsApp. That is not what we need for this specific integration. Select web chat, create the project, and then you're going to have this. We're going to go ahead and delete everything. And with WhatsApp or with Instagram, with all these integrations inside of ManyChat, the most important thing is that once you start your user flow, you're going to have to capture a user reply. This always has to be the first step because somebody is going to be reaching out to you on WhatsApp on Instagram and sending you a message first. From there, you can continue and send them, for example, an AI response, right? Where you then have a knowledge base and you answer their question. And if you send this message, you're always gonna have to add a response card at the end to capture a uh, capture card at the end to capture their reply. And then you can move on to the next step. 
Now I have an advanced lead qualification build where we integrate it into Instagram. The same concept is going to apply to WhatsApp and work with WhatsApp. So if you want to see that video, go to the channel and find our lead qualification chatbot build where I walk through the whole process over about 20, 30 minutes. Now, once you've built out your voice flow flow and you want to integrate it into many chat, what you're going to do is you're going to go to integration. You're going to select dialogue API and here you have your API key. You're going to copy this API key and now you're going to follow the steps inside of many chat where you from the start to the end, you walk through every single step where we have an external request and you're going to put your API key in each one of these fields. Um, so that this works as expected. So that is how you integrate voice flow with WhatsApp. As I said, everything is in the resource hub down below. You can find all the templates, all the codes, all the instructions there. I look forward to you guys using this integration. I hope it helps you a lot. If you guys found value in this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future.